Welcome back to Bean Gaming. In this video, I want to go over one of the issues that I encountered with Adobe Premiere Pro. And I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro, Pro for about a month now, so I'm still relatively new to this. And one of the things that I really like about Adobe Premiere Pro or like about it is the fact that it can take your words or any kind of conversation that you have in your video and transcribe it. And of course, I'll go through that with you right now, but in case you want to skip ahead, I have down in the chapters below of where I encountered the issue. So I did go ahead already and drag in my video here. And a lot of people know that I do tower defense games for Roblox. So I have mushroom defenders up right now. There's no area up here or no, pa no panel up here that says text. So I want to either go ahead and go to my window and go down to where it says text here. And now that brings up the transcribe source clips. And I only have one clip in here. If there were multiple in here, they would all show up. And it tells me that this is untranscribed. So we're going to go ahead and hit transcribe and we'll fast forward in the video till this is done. Depending how long your video is, and this video here is a little bit over 15, about 15 and a half minutes, it could take anywhere between a minute to maybe a few minutes. So no big deal. It actually does a really nice job of transcribing your voice. And what I really like about this transcription option is that you can pretty much click anywhere you want to and it jumps right to that particular part of the video. If you don't know, then the three dots mean there's a pause or there's dead space. There's no one talking at that particular time. And what's really cool is that if you right click on there, you can go ahead and delete that dead space. But if you see right here, I am clicking on it, nothing's happening. You could also go ahead and press the backspace key on your keyboard. Once again, nothing is happening. And it was working before and I had watched prior videos to show me how it works and it's just not working. So I tried to go ahead and highlight everything here or highlight some words, press delete, nothing was actually happening. So you can see I can go ahead and click back on over to these different spots and it's just not working. I'm going to work on this whole paragraph, delete, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's not working. And it did work for me before. So I was like, what the heck is going on? Why is this not working? So what I decided to do was go over to the Adobe Cloud web website. I went ahead and logged in and then I tried to find some articles on why it wasn't working and I couldn't find anything. So then I went down here to the little chat bubble and worked with the Adobe Virtual Assistant and eventually I got to a point where I was able to chat with someone because that's what I originally wanted. Now it wasn't a voice chat, it was just a typical messaging chat back and forth. And I figured, well, they would be able to help me out here. So I described the problem as best as I could. And unfortunately, it got to a point where the person working with me had said, well, just try reinstalling everything and then let us know what happens. If you need help, then give us, uh, you know, send us another or message. And the person completely ended the chat at that particular time. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why would you, you just completely cut me off. Didn't say goodbye, nothing. So I was pretty frustrated by that and I went ahead and I did what that person had suggested and it still didn't work. So I did figure out eventually what the issue was, but when you go over and look at your support history or at least my support history, you can see I opened this on January 17th. So it actually wasn't too long ago and the title, the person titled it as not able to delete the pause, which what I was talking about was these pause events here in the text panel under the transcription option and it wasn't working and so what eventually happened was number one I figured out what the problem was and that wasn't necessarily the problem but I figured out where to change that but number two they eventually changed my status to resolved even though it was not resolved now to be fair they did email me a few times but I wasn't planning on going through that process of trying to answer them because well they left me high and dry and I was really disappointed because I am paying for this on a monthly basis and I would expect to get better support than what I did. So I was really disappointed in that. But let's get back to this. So I have this pause highlighted here. And if I come up over here and I mean, even nothing, I was looking all over the place to see how in the world I could delete this stuff. Because as I said before, in the videos that I watched, they were able to do that. I couldn't figure it out. And so I just started looking in all of these in these headers over here trying to scroll on through seeing if I could find anything go to edit and preferences and I couldn't find anything there 
and so I started putting my mouse up over here, closed captioning, and edit active text, and you could still edit, that was a really nice option. These are my filters, and then right over here, automatically set in and out point, I said, well let me try that. And so I clicked on it, and then as soon as you click on a word, what happens is, if I scroll on in here, or zoom on in, if you select a word, like so, or let me just select a phrase, See how it has a starting point and an ending point there? Now, if I hit the backspace key on my keyboard, it ripple deletes it. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Same thing, if I select this pause here, or this dead space, I can hit delete and it actually works. It actually deleted it. So this right here was the key, what I was actually looking for. Now, there is another option that I was actually trying to work with before that did work. If you go and search here, and or actually, what was it? I think it was in the filters here. There it is, pauses. So if I hit pauses here, then it would go through and find all those little pauses, and then you can go ahead and click on them, or you can scroll here with your up and down arrows to the different pauses, and then you can go ahead and delete those. But you just can't hit delete. When you hit delete here, it gives you two options to either extract or lift. You can delete all or just delete that particular one. So what I was doing was manually going up and down, up and down, deleting one by one by one because I didn't necessarily want to delete all the pauses. And that worked. Back to my original issue was this in and out, automatically set in and out points. So I was super happy that I was able to find that because that is exactly what the issue was. So if you're experiencing the same thing, it literally is just clicking on this automatically set in and out points right over here. Maybe that's because I'm brand new. Maybe you knew about it already, but I didn't. So I had to figure it out on my own. Glad that I was able to do that. And no thanks to the Adobe Premiere Pro people in that. I did look up I tried to do a Google search on it, couldn't find anything, and there were other people that I found that were experiencing the same issue. So hopefully you come across this video, and I'm hoping that this is able to help you out in any particular way, especially because this transcript feature and the search by the words here, it's extremely helpful. So if you did like this video, just let me know in the comments down below if that was you. Hit that like button for me. And if you want me to make more videos like this of things that I find, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos on Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's from people that have been using it for a while. And like I said, I'm relatively new, only a month in, and there's so much more that I can learn. But I... I want to help people out in case they come across the same issues that I do. I have another video in the works that I'll be dropping probably in a week or two, but if you did like this video, let me know. I'd appreciate your comments. So thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!